on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So here's a prototype um, unit that um, I'm going to be demonstrating and uh, it's going to be sending information uh, to the Adafruit uh, IO uh, website, uh, which is part of the sort of um, Internet of Things uh, development. And I'll just show you here on the uh, on the display. Obviously, you can see the, the temperature and, and humidity. And uh, we're using this Wemos um, SHT30 uh, combined temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, we can. Uh, change the address on there should we need to but at the moment it's the default hex 45 and that is being read by the uh, the Wemos D1 Mini that we can see there and obviously sending the information via Wi-Fi to my local network and then on to the internet to, to Adafruit and we're also displaying it out on the on the display there. So uh, I'll show you quickly um, on the Adafruit website the, the results that uh, that we're getting. So here on the uh, on the Adafruit site we can see the temperature and humidity readings being sent from the from the unit in real time and we get a, a list of them popping up there and a, a graphical representation as well which is pretty neat. So um, the other Thing that I've done um, is to add the switch, which um, switches on the onboard LED for the for the unit. So if we press that, then the onboard LED obviously comes on or off. Now, in a real-world example, we would perhaps um, be measuring the temperature and then, if it got too warm, to uh, switch on the air conditioning. So we would connect this via a, a relay in some fashion to uh, switch the aircon on and off. So this is a, as a uh, proof of concept. I think it works uh, really well. So here we can see I've based the, uh, the work on the Adafruit um, library example for the SP8266, which works equally well for the uh, the, the Wii Moss uh, D1 Mini, and I'm never entirely sure whether I go into enough detail or too much detail when going through these things. So perhaps if you could leave a comment below, and then uh, I'll know whether to add more or, or less, or even whether it's worthy of uploading to to GitHub or or whatever. So. Here we can see the includes, and that's just the, the library functions for the uh, for the various devices that we're using. And as we've seen before, if you watch my other videos um, with this OLED, um, we just need to reset it. And here is the the line that we saw before referencing hex 45 for the sensor chip. After the variables, we can see the information for the uh, connection to my access point. And after that, there's the uh, the server information for the Adafruit server. So your username and uh, and and the key is required there. Client itself, and to be able to publish the feed for the temperature, and also for the humidity, and that is followed on by the routine on/off. Uh, which uh, defines the, the switch function which controls the onboard LED. And there's some other stuff there that's just left over from the from the example. So in our setup, uh, once again, as always, we'll set up the, the serial port um, for debugging purposes and we'll show what that outputs. And set up the uh, onboard LED and uh, just switch it off to begin with. And this is the beginning of the display routine as we can see. Uh, we connect to the access point and uh, print that information out so when the Wi-Fi is connected it will show the IP address and the subscription there for the on-off uh, button feed. Then there's a void here 
which obviously gets the temperature from the uh, from the sensor itself and the results of that are the humidity and uh, the temperature in in Celsius and our void loop function um, obviously this needs to make sure that the MQTT function is, is is working and connected to the to the server or broker I think it's more correctly known and to read the subscription for the for the switch uh, the on off button so it will print out um, what it receives either on or off and it uses that value to obviously switch the onboard LED on or off last part of the loop is to publish the, the temperature so that's uh, that's shown there and also to publish the humidity and as before we show that temperature and humidity on the onboard LED so just a few bits and pieces at the end from the uh, original Adafruit uh, for uh, the connections to the MQTT so we're not concerned about that so uh, I'll go ahead and um, just give you a final overview with my thoughts so here I'm just going to upload the sketch to the Wemos so when it's finished uploading we should see it work in the uh, in the monitor here so it's connected successfully to the wireless network and also to the Adafruit uh, MQTT server and it's sending the, the temperature. What we can also show is the results of the button going on and off. So not only does the, the light go on and off but we see the, the debug output here as well. So just as a, a, a wrap up, um, I've got the, uh, the website up on my, my phone now so that we can see that we can control this from multiple devices and obviously anywhere in the world and uh, just as a, a proof of concept I think it works really well uh, now whether you consider the Internet of Things um, to be um, a fantastic idea or, or, or your worst nightmare um, it's going to be with us for uh, forever I guess so uh, that's a wrap please um, uh, give us a like and leave any comments below